welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impression video. It is going to be a review um, and a demo, obviously. Um, and I am going to be demoing these concealers. These are the LA Girl Pro Concealers, the HD concealers. Um, these are the two shades I have. So hope you enjoy the video. Um, I enjoyed this video a lot and I, like, I enjoyed making it. You will see my review on it at the end. So hope you enjoy the video. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So we are going to try these two in this tutorial. So this one is for contouring and this one is for highlighting. The shades that I do have, the highlighting shade I have is the Creamy Beige and it's the GC973. That's the highlighting colour I have and that's what it looks like. This colour is more of a yellow consistency. Um, for the contouring colour I did get Espresso and that is the GC985 and that's what it looks like. I'm actually really excited to try these out because Every, it's everywhere basically YouTube Instagram I've like I've always wanted to try these but I don't stock them in Australia and it is um, you have to buy them online um, these are really cheap so I don't know how well they're gonna go but I've heard really good stuff about them so we'll see how that goes um, they are 1045 or 1145 I did get them in New Zealand so I'm talking about New Zealand prices um, so yeah these are from New Zealand Let me open the packaging. As you can see, I do have my foundation on, and I did use the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation for my foundation. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I've got the right shade. It looks too yellow. Like, too yellow. I don't know. It feels really sticky when I'm applying it. But we'll have to see how that goes. You just squeeze it and it comes out like that. I don't know how well this blends out, so I don't want to put too much of this, especially the contouring shade, and not being able to blend it out, because I don't know how well it will blend, or if it does, does it blend, I don't know. Also, when I'm squeezing out the product, I feel like there's not that much product in there. How many? It says there's 18 mils in this. You have to be very careful with contouring my nose, so I'm just going to do it very lightly with the leftover product on the brush okay now that I look like an idiot especially with these lips let's get into blending everything out and we'll see how that goes I'm just gonna use my trusty beauty blender because I love the way this works on my face when I'm concealing and I am gonna go with the highlight with the concealer first the concealing under my eyes first because I find that that does dry out quicker yeah, I did mention that it is sticky, but it's not sticky. I was using the foundation colour in 494 and 1 Shell Beige um, for my foundation. And this shade of concealer, which is Creamy Beige, well worked very well. When I was applying the concealer with the brush, I felt like it was very sticky. And for the contouring shade, I am going to use this part of the Beauty Blender. You know how I was saying I'm scared if it's not going to blend out? This actually blends very quick. Like, very, very quick. Like, look at that. This actually blends so quick. I'm literally dabbing and twisting. And it's doing such a good job. I put so much product on this side compared to that side. And it just looks like... I look so, like, dark on this side. I actually love the colours I chose. I'm loving these two colours I chose. Um, 
they've just worked so well with the foundation colour and my colour at the moment so I'm very happy with that. So I am just going to bake under my eyes and I'm not just doing this for this video, I do bake every time I do my makeup. So even if it's an everyday makeup, I do bake under my eyes. Um, I just can't do it without baking. I'm going to bake using the Face of Australia Translucent Loose Powder and I'm just going to bake where I usually bake. I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So I'm done with my makeup um, as you can see and I just want to come back and tell you how I thought of it and how I felt with putting my makeup on top of the concealer and the contouring, um, like the contouring and the highlighting. That with that being said, I usually do bronze and contour my face with powder a lot. Um, even when I am cream contouring, I usually do, but with this I didn't have to. I just bronze a little bit, but usually I do a lot. Um, at the moment I do have some creasing, but that's what I usually do have. Like I always have creasing under my eyes, but let's see if it has less creasing than my other concealers or more. Um, the two usual concealers that I use is Maybelline Fit Me and also um, NARS Creamy Radiant concealer so they're the two colors that are uh, they're the two concealers that I usually use and they don't really crease but they crease a little bit and this has done the same at the moment so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video um, I hope you got something out of this I hope you learned something out of it um, yeah if you want to see more of these reviews videos please let me know because I love doing them I love finding out new products and everything so yeah please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye